Hey guys, it's Aiden over BHA here bringing you a new video. Um, I promised you, uh, if you guys wanted to see it, that I would bring out a video on how to have Home Assistant reboot your Windows computer. Uh, so a few of you guys requested it, so here it is. So it's actually a lot closer to my previous video on how to uh, reboot a Linux computer. Uh, just a few minor tweaks because you obviously you have to set up SSH on a Windows machine. But here it is, hope it helps. Uh, and I also have a Mac version of this coming out soon as well, so uh, this will cover all the bases, I hope. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So um, even though I did this on the previous video, I'm going to go ahead and do it again, uh, just in case this is the video that you wanted to watch. We're going to uh, generate SSH keys on our Home Assistant machine. Uh, of course, once we do that, then we just need to install MOBA SSH on our Windows box. Since MOBA SSH is basically installing a little Linux shell inside of Windows, it'll, it gives us the ability to use the uh, SSH copy ID command uh, to copy our SSH keys to the Windows machine. Uh, once we do that, we're then ready to add the shell command into Home Assistant. And then we can add a test script to test out that shell command in Home Assistant. And then lastly, of course, I'm gonna show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to do this video without any background music. Uh, I've been up in the air about whether or not uh, to keep the background music going. Some people like it, some people don't. Guys, let me know in the video um, if you want to hear background music instead of just me breathing heavily in the background, then certainly uh, let me know in the comments and I'll keep adding background music to the videos. If you prefer to listen to me breathe and, of course, uh, dead silence in between talking segments, then, of course, let me know that as well, and I'll say no more uh, background music. Nonetheless, here we go. So, like I said, we're going to start off by generating our SSH key on our Home Assistant box. We did this in the previous video, but I just put it in this one as well, just so everybody knows how to do it. Uh, SSH-keygen-t rsa-c and then your email address I'm just using my gmail account here and again you're gonna want to do this as your home assistant user by default when you log into uh, your Raspberry Pi assuming that you're running home assistant on a Raspberry Pi you'll be logged in as Pi uh, and so you're gonna want to change to a home assistant user account uh, once you do that run this command and it will generate your SSH key for you. You can put in a passphrase if you want. I'm going to just leave mine blank. It will generate those files for you. Now we are ready to move on to the next step which is on the remote Windows machine that we want to be able to reboot. We're going to install a application called MOBA SSH. Now this will basically put a Linux shell on your Windows machine and it'll run it as a service. So um, we're going to go to mobaSSH.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Go ahead and download that. And it'll take it a second to download. I'll fast forward through it so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Alright, so click on that zip file, open it up. We're going to run the installer. Of course, uh, hit OK here, and just say, uh, let's see, click on the install button. We can just uh, leave all that, the default settings. And again, I'll kind of fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for this install to finish. All right, once the install finishes, it's going to tell you you need to reboot. That's okay, because like I said, it sets this up as a service. So anytime you reboot this computer, it will come back online and be running automatically. Now that we have our Windows machine set up with SSH, and uh, we have rebooted that machine, uh, the service is running in the background, we are going to copy that SSH 
ID or SSH key over to the new Windows machine. So again, as I said before, this all needs to be done as our Home Assistant user. That's where we generated the key, and that is the account that will be uh, running the script uh, whenever we uh, do that in Home Assistant. So sudo su-s slash bin slash bash Home Assistant. That gets you in there as your Home Assistant user. And then we're just going to do an ssh-copy-id. And then the username to my Windows machine, which unfortunately uh, has a space in it, so I'll do that in parentheses there. Um, Adrian Burns, and then the IP address of that Windows machine. This is the first time I have uh, logged in, so it's going to prompt me to uh, store that in the known host file. Just say yes. And then it should prompt me for a password. There it is. Type in the password of my Windows machine. All right, just to test it out, let's go ahead and try to SSH to that machine and see if we get prompted for a password. And there it is, MOBA SSH. We are currently logged into that Windows machine via SSH. Everything looks good. Moving on to the next step. All right, so we are ready to install our shell command on Home Assistant. Um, I do that by editing my uh, shell commands.yaml file. sudo vim shell underscore command.yaml. I'm going to find an open spot down here at the bottom. Uh, let's see, the first one we did was reboot test. We'll call this one reboot underscore test2. Uh, SSH uh, dash L. Then, of course, my username in parentheses. 10.10.10.220 and then a windows shutdown command which uh, for this one should be shutdown dash r now go ahead and save that alright so let's create a test script to test out our new shell command that we just created so I'm going to edit my test scripts.yaml uh, file that I have here. Again, scroll down to the bottom to find an open spot. We're just going to call this one reboot underscore test2 as well to kind of keep with the same naming scheme. Now for the alias, I'm going to say Windows Reboot Test, just so I know which one's which. And of course, the service is shell underscore command dot reboot underscore test2. Now let's go ahead and save that. Again, we're going to restart Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. And we'll give that a second to come back up. All right, guys, moment of truth here. Got my web front end on the left here. Uh, I've got a command line on the right where I'm going to start a ping to the uh, Windows machine. All right, got the ping going. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click on my Windows reboot test. We'll hit activate. And it may take it a second um, for it to uh, do it to the Windows machine. The Linux one was pretty quick. Uh, it was a VM. This is an actual physical Windows box. But it looks like, as you can see, the pings have stopped going, so it's in the process of shutting down. Uh, it should reboot here shortly. May take it just a second. Wait for it. And it did. It finally came back. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Not too different from the first video I did, uh, rebooting a Linux machine. Uh, 
Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So again, we started out by uh, setting up our uh, SSH keys on our Home Assistant server. Once we did that, we were then ready to uh, install MOBA SSH on our uh, Windows machine so that we would have the ability to SSH to it. Once that was done, we were ready to copy our SSH key from Home Assistant over to the Windows machine. Um, after we did that, of course, we set up a shell command on our Home Assistant server. Once that was done, we set up our test script to test out our new shell command. And then, of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. Still pretty simple to set up. And obviously, this is just an example of what you can do. Now that you know that you can do a reboot command, you can pretty much do any command on a Windows machine that you want. The same with the uh, Linux video as well. I know some people have requested some volume control um, that we can do, and that's something that we will definitely set up and I can uh, do a video on that as well. That's it, guys. That's the end of the video. I hope this helps. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see, anything, anything that you want to see involving Home Assistant or Home Automation, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.